Hi, this is Jeannie Philippus again and doing one of the things I love most in creating art. We are going to make art on this beautiful charcuterie board. The charcuterie board is actually made with olive wood, nice and thick and has a copper handle. So um, when you come and create classes in our studio, we do good wood. We want your art to be on nice wood. So we have an abundance of wood to select from. Today I chose this um, round um, piece of olive wood, nice and thick and heavy and we're gonna so we want to put something really beautiful on it so we always walk you through it and I'm gonna walk you through it right now so I have my non-toxic BPA free food safe resin I'm going to separate it out with one ink and this is an ink and I'll show you a little closer and three mica powders and mica powder is the truest form of pigment that there is so the color is just brilliant when you mix it together so let me show you this is our gold so we're going to take a little gold and you'll see how nice and bright it is. The thing about it, if you're working and what we teach in our classes is when you mix your resin with mica powder, always have really good ventilation, which we do. We have extra ventilation in here and mix it really well because you don't want little clumps of mica powder in your resin because then they're going to stay on your board. So the resin I use is Naked Fusion and we'll put a link below that um, at the bottom. It's an artist resin. So, okay, I have that mixed up really nice. We're gonna mix up our brown. We're gonna do a brown, a gold, and we're gonna do a turquoise ink. And if you've only, if you've done this before and you've only used mica powder and resin together and used it on your board, that's amazing. It's beautiful. But if you want to create a little bit of a marbleized effect, I use an acrylic ink, not just any old ink, an acrylic ink. Get some on your board, no big deal. It's gonna cover it up. And this is the copper. We're gonna mix it really well because we don't want any powder in there. That pretty copper. All right, and now we're gonna stir our ink, all right? And this is a nice turquoise ink and it'll just make a special fun effect when we mix the alcohol ink, acrylic alcohol ink um, in with it. All right, so we're gonna pick, see how beautiful this board is? We're gonna decide what we want to, what part of the wood we want to show because the board's so pretty. I don't want to cover the whole thing up with color. The color is more of the accent. As we all know with charcuterie, we use the color and when we create on one side and it's food safe, we do our presentation with our charcuterie boards, our meats, our cheeses, and then we can use the other side to cut. Here we go. I decided I want to show this little knot and I want to show some of this. So I'm going to kind of work over here. So I'm going to start with one of my colors and I'm just going to pour and I know never pour everything out of the cup completely because I never know if I want to add some more later. I always leave a little bit. I'll take our next color and we're going to pour it right next to it. And again, I want to show a lot of the wood that has the knots in it. And I like to keep a little bit in here because I just don't know when, where and when I'm going to add it before I finish. And here's that pretty gold. We're going to add it right here. And I think I'm going to add the ink in between. If you get a little spot on your wood, don't worry. I'll show you how to clean it up in a few minutes. So we'll put a little ink here. And that's the turquoise. And then we're going to add a little bit of it right here. And then we're going to put some right down the middle. And now I'm glad I had left some of my gold in here because I kind of want to bookend it with the gold. All right, and let's do it on this side too. Now sometimes people will take, lift up their board and they'll start moving it around and you can do that. Um, you can kind of do that a little bit and it kind of gives it a little bit more like an organic feel. I think I'm going to do it to where it goes over the edge. And if it didn't go over all the way, that's okay because I'm going to pick this up and get it to cover it. I'll take some of this gold I still have. So now kind of comes the fun part. I think I'm going to add. We can, a lot of times we'll take a little stick and we will do kind of like a little design in it. And that's kind of fun. Kind of pulling the brown or the different colors into the next color. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just kind of giving it a little dimension. And I'm gonna add one more little strip of copper just to balance it out. Covered up my brown a little bit. 
Okay, now this right here is the effect I was telling everybody about with the alcohol ink. So we're just going to enhance it a little bit because we want that marbleized look. So if you see, now it has this marbleized look and that's the alcohol ink in there and it kind of makes that versus just a solid color. So there you go. I told you I'd show you how to get a little spot off that if you got it on there, just add a little alcohol. 91% alcohol does the trick and then wipe off any little spot that you didn't want. So I want to show you again the little, can you see the little, the little marbleized and bubbles in there? That's all created because we used an ink. So there you go. Um, there is your charcuterie board. You can use it, do your presentation on it. It'll dry in 24 hours. We always say give it 72 hours to really cure. If you have any few little bubbles, you can kind of hit it with just a little bit, a little cream brulee lighter and you can get your bubbles out and call it a day. And also I wanted to tell you that I told you I use Naked Fusion as my um, resin. Very good resin and um, very good company to work with and we will give you more details about that with a link at the bottom. This board is for sale. So let me show you again really close. It will be complete by tomorrow. We'll sand the bottom and again it has a copper handle and it's olive wood about a half an inch thick olive wood and nice and heavy a beautiful piece of wood and a beautiful design and we sell it here for $160 and this one is so this one we will sell to you for $160. Thank you and come by and see us like our video.